I don't know what's going on with this weather you guys but it's super hot and muggy so when it's like that is you know it drains your energy it's less productive uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm installing the our ceiling this is the tongue and groove six inch pine and cut everyone every piece is cut to fit and then I sand it very nice and smooth so we can apply the clear coat after that so when you apply the clear coat it's gonna change the color a little bit to like really real wood you know color it makes it look more like a cabin this is one of the styles I, that I like too I like to see a real wood finish like that we'll see how it comes out but it's already uh, looking nice the screw I'm using is the one fourth deck screw. This is for uh, it's already painted. This is guarantee it won't rust or anything. It's way too hot. So I spent the last two hours cutting this one piece. I just want to show you guys in case you guys have to deal with the factory AC unit. The free on lines you can see right here. It ran through here and through the ceiling here. Going down this way at the pillar here. At the B pillar here. Going down inside here. So this piece. Okay so that thing is in the way of the ceiling if you are doing the wood like this okay look at that this thing is huge and I have to cut trying to cut this to accommodate that even though it's not gonna cover it but at least you know I got portion of it to cover and whatever is too low it's gonna be exposed so just in case you have to deal, you know, you have to do the same thing here. Just keep that in mind unless you have a better way to do it. But too much time on this one. And also before I put this back, you can see I already weather sealed the wood underneath it. And also this wood here is all I applied the, the seal. And I'm using the uh, urethane here. This is uh, the semi gloss. You can see superior protection, UV protection, mold, and mildew resistance. It seals out water. So I'm going to apply the rest of, of the ceiling and all the woods with this one. Awesome. Alright guys, I spent the last two days trying to figure out how do I frame the windows. And let me tell you, it's not easy. So far I got all the panels all the panels down, but now it's the framing time. These windows, there's one size shallow, one size deeper, curve, one size larger, one size smaller so it's not gonna be a per perfect angle per perfect square that means you cut one piece and you go cut another piece back and come back and forth try to align the corner together join the, the corners to together so I was able not able to veto every corner but when I'm done I'll explain to you how I, I did it uh, so far looks good I, I like it so far. So let's see here how it goes from here. If 
before I frame it, I insert another layer of, this is a, we have some extra 3M tinselate flush, so we can block the any cold air that's coming through the window frames. So this has a, a name for it, I don't know, it's a, I call it a frame, but on the inside it's a different, outside is a different name, I don't know what they call, but anyway, I'm using a 3 quarter inch and measure and cut a, a curve here to align with the window, okay, then I insulated the inside, glue on the edges here, push it in, then I I uh, um, nailed it, okay, and make sure this is flush because this piece was big, it's a five inches thick. So I push it in, I draw on along the outside, I go cut it to align with this, okay. Now everything on the, on the inside here, uh, all framed out. Now I come with this, okay, this is a, also a three quarter inch by two and a half. It's gonna be on my outside, okay? That will cover all these joints here. And then I cut my 45 degrees angle here. I'll do on both sides and then come up with the top to make that, that um, uh, the finish for the top, and, you know, the 90 degrees or whatever degrees it is. It's not a 90 degree, perfect 90, degrees I mean this is like 45 degrees and this top here I don't know how it's gonna be you have to kind of measure it first before you cut that don't just cut 45 so and that should be the the complete uh, frame now I have my two pieces cut on the, the two sides cut I sanded all of them nice and smooth Okay, we have, this is your, going to, to be your finish frame. So make sure it's smooth. And then apply glue. We go ahead and staple it to, to here. Dun, dun, dun. Woo! Woo <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> I've never.
never excited getting a band done with. Not that excited like before. But this one's special. Look at this. It's a cabin on wheel now. Beautiful. Man. Smooth. Okay, let's finish it up with the cabinet. And uh, we'll see you. We'll see you uh, uh, when it's complete. guys you can see how much I want to get this band done it's already uh, past 8 o'clock 8 p.m. I'm still working on the framing I cut all of the all the aluminum framing while it was daylight and then now I'm just as assembling them so I don't have to make all that noise last piece here let's go install it Okay, all done. I just put away my drill and the screwdrivers and all the tools away. You guys ready to see my new uh, uh, cabin on wheel right now? Sure, why not? Let's see. Ta -da, ta -da. Here you go. Beautiful cabinets. Look at those tiny cabinets. They're so cute. I built it to to accommodate the uh, AC unit, so it's two sizes of cabinet on both sides. It's beautiful. It's a cabin, real cabin on wheel feel like. So the rest, the owner is gonna, you know, take care of whatever he's, he's gonna build, the bed and everything. And for now, let's take a quick look at it. Okay, look at this cabinet also wood this is also another IKEA door cabinet okay and it's a half inch ply they go really well together look at that all our window frames check that out Oh man, it comes out so nice. Also the overhead storage. Look at that. Alright everybody, thank you so much for following me all along this this project here. It's done. This is all we have to do with it. But look at it, it's ready to go camping. You can just throw a convertible bed or something mattress on it and it's ready to go all insulated okay look at these windows 
nice at park in the woods you can see it right outside so thank you so much for watching uh, and please follow me along we're gonna have a next project it's gonna be a complete build please subscribe please uh, share my channel and see you next time this is Bo bye